Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. So we are solving lead code top 50 interview questions for SQL and we have already solved the basic select queries uh, problems uh, under the sub substation of uh, select queries. Then again, we are moving for basic joins questions and we have already solved the first two job problems of the basic, basic joins. Now we are towards the third problem and the third problem states that you need to find the customers who visited but did not make any transaction. So there is a there are two tables visits and custom uh, transactions. And we need to find all the customers which have visited the mall but have not made any transactions. Okay, so uh, we can see that. Let me move on to my whiteboard. Okay, so I would erase all of this part. So I par parallelly arrange all of these three tables so that we can understand it clearly. Okay, so we can see that customer ID. We are given yeah, there are customer IDs, right? This is a, there are these are the customer IDs. So for customer ID 23, the visit ID associated with it is it is one, right? Now, if I see in the transactions table, I can see that customer ID 23 has made one visit and it has spent some amount, right? Has has an entry in my transactions table, right? Has an entry in my transactions table. So, I do not require them. I do not require this customer. Why? I do not require. Because problem states that you need to find the customers who visited, who have visited, but has not made any transaction, no transactions. So again, it is a clear cut case of a join, but yeah, you, you need to identify which customers visited, but have not made any transactions. So simply speaking, we need to find all of the customer IDs from the visit table who have an entry, who have an entry, in, who do not have an entry in this transaction table. Okay. So for 23, we have a visit ID associated is one, right? Visit ID associated is one and visit ID one as an entry in my transactions table. So in my final output, I cannot see one and I, I do not need to include 23. Now, next one is customer ID 9. Customer ID 9 has a visit ID associated 2. Now we can see that again, visit ID 2 is also there, is also present in my transactions table. Hence, I will not include in my final list because I need all the customers who have a visit. Yeah, they, have, they must have visited but have not made any transactions, no transactions. So this is a simple problem. Okay, this is a simplified version of my problem. Now, customer next, my customer ID is 30. So if I go to the transactions table, the visit ID associated with customer ID 30 is 4. And I cannot see any visit ID with 4, right? So I need to include in my final answer. And I can see that 30 is present in my final answer, right? Now, next one is 54. 54 is a visit ID associated with 5, right? So I can see that 5, visit ID 5, Whenever, whenever customer ID 50 customer 54 visits with visit ID 5, he has made transactions. So, okay. Now also we need to find out how many transactions are there, which okay count of transactions. So, which means that this I will not include this record in my final answer. But we can see that there are two more visits by made by customer ID 54. That is 7 and 8 with the visit ID 7 and 8. But they are not present in my transactions table so that's why there are two transactions associated with it so what do you mean by count of count number of transactions count no transactions so it it, it means that the customers who have visited the mall but have not made any transactions so customer id 54 when it visits with id 7 and 8 has no entry in my transactions table and that's why my count of uh, no transactions is 2 correct and similarly with 30 we have already seen it for now the the ID left is 96. So 96 customer ID with customer with ID 96 has a visit ID associated 6. And we cannot find an entry 6 in my transactions table. So that means I also need to include 96. So it is also included. And the number of transactions associated are 1. I mean, what, what do you mean by count no transactions? That means how many times this visit ID is present in this table. Okay, now let's move on to the select right we, we should write queries right now so what what is the associated query so we need to join definitely so as i told you never write the select uh, attributes first first identify which two tables you need to join okay so we need to join visits table let me analyze it it's v and we can use left join also yeah so we need we can use inner join join so there are lots of other possibilities in in sql there is no single solution okay you can use left join you can use outer join you can use right join and you can also derive the answer using sub queries so uh, you can if you have if you have other solution you, you can definitely write comment it down but the solution which suits me i am explaining to you again here so 
I would visit the joint with this transaction table T. Let me name it as T. Now, on what would be the joining condition? Joining condition would be my visit ID because that is the column uh, that is attribute which is common. Okay, v dot visit ID equal to T dot visit ID. Okay, so that is all. Now I have joined, but what would be my joining condition? See, I want all of those visit IDs which are not present, right? Okay, let me move on to my whiteboard again. So what what does my whiteboard suggest? See. I want all of those IDs. I want all of those customer IDs where the visit ID, corresponding visit IDs are not present in this, right? So whenever I join visit table, join transactions. See on the basis of visit ID, then visit ID one is present. Okay, so it will it will get joined. Now visit ID two is again present and hence it would get joined. Visit ID four has no entry in this table, right? So the corresponding join condition would be null right so this that this is what we need to take care of what is that so we need to where and we need to find out where v dot visit id turns out to be null because we all we all want that transactions right and what would what we want we want v dot customer id right we don't want customer id and count of one count star as count no transactions and also we need to group by because we are using aggregate function so we would group by v dot customer id so let me try to run this code okay what is okay we forgot an on condition on is a keyword uh, or joining keyword right okay we are getting something erroneous let's identify what is the problem okay sorry here it would be t dot visit id is null yeah so why why did why d dot I visit id see when i try to join it when i try to join it see when i try to join id 4 i would get there is no id right here so this is v this is t so t dot visit id would be null right because there is no uh, entry present with I visit id 4 so that's why t dot visit id is null and we would group by customer id so we are getting the corresponding result we need we need to submit it now yeah so we are getting an accepted code okay now if you have any other solution we, you can definitely comment it down and i will uh, also highlight in my next videos so if you have any other solution comment it down and uh, the, in SQL, there are there can be lots of possible solutions for a particular problem, right? So do not forget to subscribe to the channel. So we, we are going to solve, we are going to complete all these 50 problems and we are also going to get the badge, okay? So do not forget to subscribe to the channel and if you have any doubts, comment it down. I will try to explain it. Thank you for watching.